What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Greg Newsom, um, cornerback out of Northwestern, and I kind of like him. Um, the more corners I'm getting into, the more I'm realizing that it's actually fairly deep at corner this year. Uh, it's not really top-heavy. Um, there's no corner in this draft that is, like, for sure, like, I have to go get that guy. There's no, like, Jalen Ramsey's in this class or anything like that. Um, but the, there is depth. Um, so he's six one, about 190, so that size is fine. He's not particularly long, but he's definitely got enough length to get the job done. He also does look a little bit shorter than that on film. I wouldn't be surprised if he's more like 5'11". But, um, he does have some pretty good hips. He can flip them pretty effectively, um, and it seems pretty smooth. Uh, he's solid in man and zone coverage, but I do prefer him in man. Uh, does a lot of cover three things. Um, I do see him as probably a day two talent, I'd say. Probably somewhere like mid-second round to early third, something like that. It, it kind of depends on just how the board is falling um, and how teams are valuing corner this year. It, it, that, that, that can be kind of hard to predict sometimes. A lot of times um, there ends up being runs on corners, and I could see that happening this year somewhere in the second round. So... Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, he definitely has the athleticism to get the job done for sure. Uh, he, he definitely has a lot of burst, and he uses that burst to recover well when he does get beat, um, which is good. Uh, he doesn't seem to really want to tackle like most of these corners in this class. Like I said, Je I mean, I almost said Jeff Akuda. Uh Patrick Sertain is really the only corner in this class that seems to be at least willing to tackle. Like, Obviously, if someone runs into them and they have no choice but to tackle, they will. But uh, they're not really, <laughs> they're not really gonna volunteer to go tackle somebody, you know. Um, so yeah. And also, he is competitive as hell, and his ball skills are actually pretty decent. So, I think he's a pretty damn good corner. And I don't know, man. Uh, just because the lack of athleticism, he might be a little bit overstrained for me. I don't know. It, it's it's tough. I don't know. But, yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.